hey guys and welcome back to my channel today I have a get ready with me video for you my just style we're in December as you know and there are a bunch of weddings going on left right and center and you want to slay for a wedding so I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this gorgeous makeup look how I got my turban to pop like this it's really simple and you can achieve it in very easy steps and also my entire outfit so if you want to see how I got this look keep watching So I did my brows off camera, you can check my Instagram page for a mini tutorial. I'm starting off by priming my eyes and I'm using a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk for this. I'm just placing that all over my eyes and then using my fingers to blend it all out. Next I'm going in with Ethereum Cosmetics Neutral Eyeshadow Palette and I'm taking that um, brick brown color and I'm putting that in my crease as my transition color. Going in with a darker shade of brown, I'm putting that also into my crease just to smoke out the eyes a little bit more. Next, I'm going into the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette in Storm and I'm using that forest green color. It's a really dark green color. I'm just placing that all over my lid using a Real Techniques flat shader brush. And then I'm blending that out with a Delium Tools brush number 776. Next, I'm going in with the ColourPop Super Shop Shadow in the shade Flower Shop. And I'm just placing that on top of that forest green color just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm just using some makeup wipes just to clean the edges of the eye makeup and I'm going with my Gully Girl gel liner in very black and I'm just creating a very nice winged liner with that using the brush it came with next I'm using the LA Girl eyeliner pencil just to line my waterline For mascara, I'm using this one from Clinique and this is the High Impact Mascara. I'm just using this to bring out my lashes and get it ready for falsies. Here I'm just applying my false lashes and I'm using a combo of the lashes I used in my last video. Next I'm priming my entire face using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and this will just help my makeup stay put all day. And I'm trying out this foundation for the first time. This is the Black Opal Stick Foundation and I'm just applying this all over my face and then blending out with a brush from BH Cosmetics. And so the usual, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal to highlight. You guys know me, this is like my go-to concealer. I don't use any other concealers. And I'm using um, Warm Honey and Creamy Beige for this. And I'm highlighting under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, the usual. And I'm blending it out with a Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. Next, I'm going to be setting that highlighted area with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And you guys know I love this powder so much. It's finely milled and it just sets that concealer in place. It doesn't go anywhere all day, every day. So now I'm dusting off that excess powder right after dancing while my concealer was baking. Trying out this product for the very first time. This is the Ellie Girl Pro Face Matte Press Powder. That is the longest name ever. I'm just setting my entire face with it. And then using bronzer from Milani, I'm using this to contour 
the sides of my face, the sides of my nose and all the parts of my face, I want to look really chiseled and slim. Next, I'm going in with blush and I'm using this one from Black Radiance. This is in the shade Twisted Almond, one of my oldest blushes, but I still love it. Next, I'm spraying my brush and for my highlights, I'm using the NYC Sun and Burns Highlight Powder. Look at that glow popping. It is popping, I swear. Going back into my sleek palette, I'm taking that gold color and I'm just highlighting my inner tear ducts with it. And also using the same forest green color on my bottom lash line. Next, I am using a liquid liner just to conceal the lash band a little bit and just to make it look seamless and nice. Next, I'm using the LA Girl Endless Auto Liner in Deep Plum and I'm lining my entire lips with it. And for my liquid lipstick, I'm using this one from Teos Cosmetics and this is in the shade Tripoli. I'm just using this all over my lips. I'm using my liner all over my lips again just to give the lips a bit of an ombre effect. And that ends the makeup tutorial. Next for the turban, I'm just taking a scarf from my wardrobe and placing that over my head from the back. I'm tying the two ends in the front. And then I'm twisting those two ends. And taking it round the front of my head, securing it as I twist. Next, I'm going with a darker color and placing it over that one. I'm doing exactly the same thing in the last step, tying it in the front and twisting and taking round the same thing. And then I'm pinning a brooch to the front of the turban to give it a very nice chic look. And with that, the entire look is complete. Go ye forth and slay as a wedding guest, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. 